Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. What happened to Madeleine McCann? The missing person S case that captured the world it was once a face you saw everywhere. The image of a blonde head, hazel eyed little girl with a distinctive smudge on the iris of her right eye could be found in airports, gyms, and movie screens. Everyone knew Madeleine S. McCann's name, her age, where she was from, and where she went missing. What they didn't know, what her family and authorities were desperate to discover, was what happened to her on the night of May 3, 2007. In the week before she disappeared, the McCann family had embarked on a family trip to Portugal's Algarve coast. The picturesque location offered the perfect backdrop for a vacation filled with sun, laughter and friends. But the illusion of tranquility and security was shattered in an instant when the McCann's three-year-old daughter Madeline vanished from her bedroom without a trace. A 15-year search for answers has unearthed false leads, questionable science and spurious claims. It has also brought the glare of international media to the close-knit community of Rothley in Leicestershire, England, where the McCann's live. It was here, in Madeline's hometown, where her disappearance was keenly felt by residents. Many laid flowers brought teddy bears and tied yellow ribbons around trees in the days, weeks and months after her death. Talking to parents, it has had a long-term effect on them, said Joan Palmer, who has lived in the area for decades. She remembers how the village rallied together after Madeline's disappearance, holding special prayer meetings to show their support. It is really quite difficult to comprehend. I know the McCanns want closure, but they also live in hope that something will be coming to fruition, she told the ABC. To this day, what happened to Madeline and who might have been responsible is still unknown. No one has ever been charged. And as the anniversary of the day she went missing passes, a statute of limitations in Portugal may mean any chance for justice rests on one potential suspect. Without a confession or a new discovery, the most famous missing persons case in the world may forever remain a mystery. May 3, 2007 as the McCanns gathered to enjoy a final meal with other couples at the Praia da Luz resort where their three kids slept, they were unaware of how their lives were about to change forever. The group of friends, who became known as the Tapas Seven, took turns checking on their children. At 9.05 p.m., Jerry McCann peeked into his children's bedroom and found all three of them sleeping soundly. Fifty-five minutes later, as Kate McCann went to perform a similar check, she discovered her twins still sleeping in their little cot. The bed next to them, however, was empty. A blanket and cuddly toy were all that remained in the place where her daughter once slept. As patrons dined at the restaurant near the apartment, a heartbreaking wail pierced the idyllic atmosphere of the resort. Never in my life have I heard a cry like that, waiter Geronimo Salcedas told police. It would mark the beginning of the McCann family's nightmare and a series of unanswered questions. Where did their little girl go? Was she taken? Who took her? Would they find her? Multiple searches of the area turned up nothing. Local police concluded Madeline was likely kidnapped, though the early investigation produced no major leads. Even so, journalists had flooded into the small town of Praia da Luz from all over the globe and the media frenzy around the case reached a fever pitch. Fame is a double-edged sword when Madeline McCann's case made front-page news, social media platforms were in their infancy. Facebook and Twitter had just launched in 2004 and 2007 respectively, providing new ways for Madeline's story to reach audiences around the world. Her disappearance coincided with the birth of the Internet age, when news travels so quickly, according to Robin Swan, investigative journalist and co-author of the book, Looking for Madeline. I think what happened initially is that the case was so relatable, a beautiful little, child with telegenic, well-spoken parents capable of putting their story out there, Miss Swan told the ABC. Even the McCann's hometown could not escape the publicity of the case. The small English village of Rothley was put on the map, probably for all the wrong reasons, Miss Palmer said. If we went anywhere, I would say we live in Rothley and people, 
would instantly make the connection or if you mentioned Maidline, oh yes, we remember that, she said. It was Jerry McCann himself who had ignited the media blitz that would eventually consume the couple. Please come forward, return Madeline, leave her in a place of safety, he begged in a press conference just two days after his daughter disappeared. The world was transfixed. But for all the good publicity the news around Madeline attracted, it also, 